Okay, so Phantom Forces has been updated in uh, July 4th, as usual, because like, like, you know, July 4th is American's Independence Day, as I remember, right? Right? Yeah, the Independence Day is the July 4th, so annually Phantom Forces has been had got an update on the July 4th and this is a day after because I had a test and now I'm back and I'm now able to make some videos instead of doing some live streams because I have more time now because I only have vacation and that vacation would go about one month so I can make a video for mom one month and just go back to live stream go back to live streaming after a month sadly yeah, but I mean, I, I don't have that much time to make videos, because like, making videos like, takes like 10 hours or so, so it's, I don't really have that much time, but I, I mean, maybe if I just try to make some time, it might be possible, but it's still pretty hard, so. Anyways, what was, what's the update is supposed to be the new, yeah, the new UI, you know, and instead of just getting all, all lined up in a whole, lined up in a one, line i mean one lane like this is much more better like yeah this is so comfortable you just don't really need to search for the a call like where is the a call where is the a call and like uh, where is that where is that you just don't really need to do that it's just so organized and so easy to define yeah new text and also the color has changed the black got more black i mean you know i mean black got more darker so it just so the final force is generally became more darker so i kind of like it it just kind of feels like a call of duty but it's uh it's in roblox it's like the previously final forces was way too bright but it's now dark which is just pretty much good enough for me so, i mean you could just kind of feel i mean you could just kind of know why what i mean final forces got more blacker i mean black got more, black got more black it just generally got darker, and I kind of like it. So, anyways, there's some kind of new balance update as I rem I mean, some balance changes as I remember, but as I know, there's no... There wasn't any... Okay, I think there is... Okay, there's the change log. I'm not sure if you guys are seeing this, but still. There's a new gun, M1903 Can Cannon. I maybe have to buy I don't wanna buy this though. I mean should I I mean I don't wanna buy this. I mean if you just wanna know what this gun is, just go to Oscar's channel. I mean it's too expensive to buy this kind of just funny yeah this kind of interesting gun which won't be really used so usefully. So anyways new content K2, K7, K1A, a lot of tweaks new mounting system dr 300 what in wait ah okay i thought it was like 12.7 i mean normally the guns that have 300 in the behind or like a 200 or whatever is a high caliber gun more like a sniper those kind of snipers just get a yeah has 300 in the behind 2000 and like a one 103 i mean 107 1903 and yeah you know that stuff and intervention is also m200 and remington is to 700 so i mean it ain't generally but most i mean it ain't general i mean it, it ain't universal but a lot of snipers have big numbers on their yeah on the back of their name i mean on their name so i thought like the DR300 was a sniper conversion of K2, but it was just an AK conversion of the K2. Okay, so I'm not sure if I could buy that or whatever. It ain't that expensive and it just changes to DR300. Okay, this looks literally so weird. I, I think this is the tweak model in the North Korea. I mean, I think this is literally the tweak model in the North Korea. Man, it just looks so freaking weird. Man, is it good though? No way that it's not an- It's not an auto! Okay, that's why it just gets a 300 in the behind. 
Okay, I thought it was an automatic. I mean, it, the recoil is too high to be an automatic, but still, I thought, uh, okay, where's the automatic? But it was not an automatic, it's just more like a DMR. Okay, I might need an actual scope for this. I mean, I don't like this though. It's pretty strong though. I think I one tap. Okay, I think it's a one tapable gun. Not so bad. Uh, I think I'm fine. And also, there's more grenades. Yeah, like the RGN and RGO. Now I'm just currently using the light impact grenades. Because impact grenades are pretty good. Like in the, especially in the metro. If there's a guy, a lot of guys in the upper on the stairs. I mean. On the upstairs, you just have to explode. I mean, throw a grenade in the up uh, in the upstairs, and then the grenade would have just made some noise. And while while your grenade has made noise, you just have to get clamp up the. I mean, you just need to climb up the stairs and then strike enemy. That's actually a really good strat. Let me. I mean, I might. Let me try to just show you. Yeah, I'll try to just make a clip and then show you in the video. Yeah. Oh. If you just get in here, just do like that using impact grenade, they don't know. They seriously don't know, so we could just assassinate them. It's a really good strat, and you know, it could also be used in other games, using grenades to just hide your sound. Okay, as I just said, it's a really good strat. Uh, so this thing is literally a DMR. I've never actually expected this thing to be a DMR like an SKS or whatever well it does have 30 rounds and pretty high damage 1.2 not that bad you just need a two tap and kill someone full stock it <laughs> what even is this it's this isn't what like a Korean CQ Korean Hera CQ or stock like what even is that oh by the way Hera CQ or stock is wait no not here there Oh, there. Heresy core stock. This. Also, I broke my gun. I broke my honey badger. So I'm just gonna replace my honey badger modding as this. Get the grip and get the. Yeah, get the stock and ta da. Honey badger. I mean, heresy core honey badger. So, anyways. So <laughs> there's this kind of weird Korean styled heresy core grip. I mean, what even is this? I, I mean, stock. What even is this? Feels like uh, I'm fighting in a night night area. I mean night time. I well night time night time combat isn't that good, but that's that's only in Tarkov, you know. Because like if you can't see anything in Tarkov, it's pretty terrible, you know. Like you never know when you'll die, so it's kind of scary. This is kind of good. This is kind of good. This is not bad. But my aim is not that good enough to kill all of those guys. I mean, if I was that good, I would have been using some Chinese stuff. Yeah, some Chinese stuff. One thing is that it's worse than SKS, that's sure. It's just, it's just so fun. I mean, it's firing ain't that fast. If it was a little bit faster, it could have been better. But, eh, too much for it. Too much for a thousand kill attachments. Yeah. Lots of shit. There's that guy. What the hell did I. What. Whoa. What did I even see? Like, yo, what. Did he just fly away to school? Okay. That. That. That's, that's scary. Man. That's. That's very scary. Scary fighter, like, you know. Good in range, like medium range could be good, but uh, maybe it's just me not getting accustomed on it. It's fine, but I uh, mean the recoil is too high. That's a problem. Just as a sniper, this is more like a close range. I mean, not that close range. Oh my God, the sun, the sun is too bright. I can't even see anything. It's that, it's that thing again, the bright sun. I mean, they patched it, but it's just still too fucking bright. Hi. Where were you looking at? I mean, you didn't, you don't have any headphones or whatever. I would have made some footsteps so freaking loud, but.
how to equal. It's me, No, if I just literally talk like this, there is not much part to cut off. That means the video would just get up to like a like a freaking 30 minute or whatever, or worse, like a one hour. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I have to stop talking, but I mean, I'm more like a live stream type. I mean, I don't. I can't really. I mean, I seriously talk too much. Anyways, let's just go to other god. So, so this K2, the DR300, isn't that good. It's fine. It's pretty okay, but not that good. I mean, let's try T break. Okay, the recoil itself kind of decreases. DMR well, so it's pretty good. But yeah. It's Next, what's next? Uh, max. There's another freaking conversion, it's like three of them. Okay, I I need to buy them all. God damn it! Maybe I just had to test them in the test place or whatever. Mm, I still have like two thousand dollars, but still. Don't say that. Okay, this thing has a semi. I mean, oh no. Yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it, like, or is it, or is it, I mean, that doesn't seem like it, okay, it's because of my, it's definitely because of the setup that I'm using, because it's freaking terrible, like, a flash hider, a flash hider, and a vertical grip, vertical grip itself is kind of fine, but flash hider is one of the worst moments that you could have used. What did I even kill? What did I even kill? Okay, this thing is- Oh, headshot, cool. Mmm, the K2- I mean, the K1 a just got pretty cooler. It just feels like an AK. Like a modern gun. Like, you know, you know that kind of feeling. Wait. This thing is- I think this thing is better than the K2. The recoil is kind of good. Hate this map, I wanna just skip it to other one. Okay, this is actually literally fine. Yo, if I get a if I just get a little bumper attachment, this could be literally so OP. Man, this is actually much better than I thought. I mean, I I didn't think that I could kill a guy in that range with an auto mat with some auto firing. I mean yeah, but we it's pretty good. I mean, it's much better than I have ever, I've ever expected. All ranger. Yeah, I think this gun could be a pretty good all ranger. Like, if you just use it in a semi, it's pretty good. You can just use it in the DMR, but a little bit, little low damage. Yeah. I mean, the damage isn't that bad, so. The version itself is kind of bullshit, but the specification is... Ah, oh, well, the specs also bullshit in a good way. The concept is bullshit in a bad way, and the specifications is bullshit in a good way. Yeah. So, this gun is full of bullshits. Okay, let's just do some spawn kills with this thing. I, can, I think I could just kill five with it. God damn it, okay. Okay, so that was K1A. Not that bad. So, yeah, I think this could thing could be you. I mean, could be good. I I should have to use this on Metro. Because, like, Metro is one of the best... I I mean, Metro is literally the best, best map in the Phantom Forces, you know? You could also snipe there. You could just go charge. And, yeah, Desert Storm is also a really good map. Even though it's more like a sniper base. But you could also just go and charge and kill some people. Yeah. So next is K7556 conversion. Okay, so the video just literally got way too long and I just felt like I just only did two guns and there's like 14 minutes. I spent like 14 minutes and there's like more guns to actually test out. Like there's the K7 and the... Yeah, K7, the Springfield, and the C8, and the Can Cannon, even though I did really buy the Can Cannon, but still, like, 
yeah, there's like way too much things left to just put it in a single video. So I, I've kind of decided to split the video in few parts. So this part is over on here and I'll just come back with next part tomorrow or maybe today or no, no, tomorrow. So yeah, so I'll come back with the next part tomorrow. Yeah.